Hello everyone, I hope you're doing good. Today we are going to do a reading about your future soulmate. And I do know that depending on your belief systems, that there are more than one soulmate out there. Um, from what I know, I know there's at least seven for everybody. So this is just why I've put in the words your next soulmate, just to kind of narrow it down a little bit. I hope this is going to be a pretty lighthearted, fun reading. That was my intention for today. I know a lot of my readings can be a little bit on the shadow working side of things and bringing to light things that maybe some people don't want brought into light. So I'm really hoping for this reading that it stays lighthearted, fun, sweet, exciting, and really just bringing out that energy of it's just kind of like nice to have something to look forward to and call in the soulmate that is in your highest interest right now. All right, so if you know how to pick a card, please go ahead and go to the timestamp in the description box below. If you don't, I'm gonna give you a quick explanation starting right now. So I like to take four deep breaths before I pick a pile just to ground myself. So you do that by breathing in air from above your head down through your nose until it goes down to your core and then you're going to release it out to your mouth. So you're doing it so you have a full circle of air from your going through your nose out your mouth. Uh, we do this four times just because by the end of that you should have a more regular breath when you're doing it and then it just puts you in your body aware and alert of the intuition, puts you in the present moment so that you have the best kind of ability to be in contact with your higher self. From there, you're going to take a look at the cards and you can pick your pile based off of either the crystal, if it catches your eye, or if you just like that pile more than the other piles for some reason. Uh, you can also go and look at the timestamps in the description box and see if a number jumps out at you. Sometimes more than one pile catches our eye. I think if you pick up to two, that's fine. More than that, it can start to get to be a little bit of information overload. But you know what? At the end of the day, you do what feels right to you. And do remember, it is a general card reading, so only take what resonates. There's usually a lot of different energies in these readings. And then every now and then there'll be one really specific message for someone. Uh, and it won't always be you. So just keep that in mind. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna give you time now to take your four deep breaths and then choose your pile. pile one so you guys chose the angel aurora quartz point and let's see what you got i do have a lot of cards so i'm just gonna put them out as quickly as possible <laughs> Okay, pile one. So right away, I kind of pick up that most of you are either just getting out of a relationship or at the ends of a relationship. All these relationships have been associated with like a past person that you've attracted in that you no longer want that kind of partnership with anymore. And even for some of you, it could have been a little while ago that you were last with someone. But the common theme was that they weren't the healthy person that you wanted to be calling in or be in partnership with. So this next soulmate is going to be very different. <laughs> it's like everything here is saying that you guys have awareness of what you used to track it in. I think a lot of you have done some uh, inner child work. 
some deeper work for sure. You've kind of grown your awarenesses on why you're attracting in this old type of person. Spirit's really saying is like, you've done a great job and the the right person or the person you're wanting to attract in is being attracted in. Uh, there's just a few little things here where they're saying some validations on these past relationships saying that um, I feel like you might have had some <sighs> unhealthy patterns happening. Um, you might have broken up a few times and gotten better back together with them. They like to punish you with like the silent treatment or just like avoiding you completely and making you feel like you're left in the dark. Uh, they didn't really meet any of your needs or provide you with like any like good things that you had kind of asked them for. Like if you ever got in an argument, I feel like they would have just said, um, well, I need this. And that doesn't correlate with what you need. So it's just like too bad. Um, you always, it probably, I feel like this, these relationships didn't have a great closure to them or an end to them where they always kind of felt like, are we officially done? I don't know, but we're just not talking right now. Uh, and then I also, if you saw these cards in that video, not to worry, like these ones I think are strictly from these past relationships where it's just like really giving me the energy of like a child, someone who's not as conscious as you, like these two energies, like yours and theirs just, just not align. Um, uh, yeah, it's just definitely very validating that this was not the right one for you. This isn't the only thing out there for you. You are actually doing a really good job of attracting in this new soulmate, this new type of love that you want. Um, that being said, there is some like um, suggestions on writing a list of everything you want in your partner or would like to see in a partner and to not so much focus on what you don't want to see. Uh, so what that would look like is saying like, I want a secure relationship attachment, or I want a partner who is in his or hers healthy masculine and feminine energy. I want a partner that is supportive. I like that kind of idea. Um, and then once you've written it, they're saying to just like offer it up to the universe, the higher force, uh, to whatever it is that you believe in. I even think for some of you, like offer it up to the cosmos would be like words that would align with you. And they're just saying release the control on how this energy is going to come in or how this person's going to come in because that needs to be left up to the universe. But asking for what you want and knowing how you want to feel in your next relationship is where your control comes in. I hope that makes sense. Yeah, they're just saying like, if we try to control it too much on the how, then it kind of limits how it can come in. But I honestly think <laughs> no matter what you do, this soulmate is going to come in either way. It just means how soon versus how much control you put on it. Um, and yeah, just to trust the universe because they've got your back. They're going to bring in this new. And then the void here, it's, you saw that card. To me, I just see this as like the new moon energy where it's like you're starting over. This is a new chapter in your life. You are now going to be attracting in this new type of energy. And it's going to be interesting because I feel like when you meet this soulmate, it's going to be a kind of person you've never really met before. Or you're just going to be like, well, this is so different from the other people I've ever dated. And that's going to be good. Uh, they're saying if you're open to it, I know you've guys have done a lot of work uh, emotionally, but they're saying that if you're open to it, to go see some form of energy healer, just to physically clear that energy out of your aura and your chakras because you've done the emotional work, but they're just saying that because I think this was a relationship pattern that you've been in or dynamic you've been in for a while, uh, it's best just to go get it all cleared out because it's, it's just definitely something of the past. You're not, you're like not going back there. Uh, okay. Let's see. So I did pull a couple of cards asking, there is any crystals if you guys like crystals that you could purchase or have on you 
uh, to help bring in this soulmate. And I got moss agate, at, uh, I'll try to say it right, apotholite. There we go. <laughs> moss agate in this crystal deck is for your heart chakra, attracting an abundance, listening to your intuition, and uh, manifesting things intentionally. So that goes very good with everything else you've got in this card reading in this pile. So that was Moss Agate. Um, yeah. And then Apotholite is, I think, to help you guys. Oh, sorry. There's a cat. Um, with your creative energy and kind of remind, remembering your passion for life. Um, it's, I, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. I don't feel like you guys are hopeless by any means, but I feel like sometimes you guys get a little down in the blues, like you've wanted like this good connection. I don't think you've had a good connection before. So you're kind of just running off this hope for it. And every now and then it's hard to keep that hope going. And there's just like this call to, to remember that there is this available to you and it is going to come in and that you're doing everything right. You're, you've done a lot of work and you've done really good. Uh, I actually originally pulled these cards for like just to find out what job your soulmate would have. But I, when I, as soon as I saw them in your card reading, I knew that they were not that. They're actually just confirmations and affirmations for you. <laughs> okay, so it says, are you a natural at overseeing projects through the, to completion? You have the skills necessary to follow your dreams. Stay grounded and focused. Create a strong foundation and a good team of people around you. Have confidence and believe in your ability to be prosperous and abundant. And I think that just really speaks to everything else I'm getting here about you're so deserving. You're so ready. You're doing the work. Keep keep faith and hope because it is coming in and just making sure that you have like healthy friendships and people around you is just going to really help cement um, this good healthy soulmate coming in and then the affirmation I think outside the norm and find creative ways to approach life the rainbow of light and positive energy expands my consciousness Creative ideas fl flow through me on a regular basis and I bring them into my physical reality. Yeah. Yeah. And then sorry, on the other side, it says, do you see how all the pieces fit together to create something useful? Use an organized approach. All the pieces will fall together with ease. Untraditional approaches will bring a new perspective. Your creative creations make a better world yeah and no actually looking at this i think that the, your soulmate could be um an entrepreneur i think i might i'm not positive obviously there's so many possibilities out there but something around building their own um job title or something so it's got to be something around entre entrepreneurship or maybe that's you guys i'm not sure but something around that and so much about manifesting, but it's all good stuff, all really good stuff. Um, and it's just saying a little reminder here that, yes, you've done a lot of work and healing work, but keep up the good job. Like, keep going. Don't don't stop if you're feeling a bit discouraged. Like, uh, yeah, like it says, you're just you've done so good. You're just got a little bit more to go. And this person's coming right in. <laughs> And I'm not sure if I talked about this card yet, the past life relationship. So this soulmate, I do feel like you've had other past lives together. Um, so I think on a soul level, you're going to recognize each other. You might just feel a little bit of an attraction to them, not necessarily on a sexual level right away. I think it's just going to be something about their energy or their spirit is like really intriguing to you. And you won't quite be able to put your finger on it, but it's because you guys know each other <laughs> yeah it's kind of funny okay um i did pull some soulmate cards and i did find it interesting because i found like this one was about the past relationships and this one was about the current ones so it just says love that emanates from my beloved's heart is light that stems from the mind of god or goddess through each other we become one I give thanks for the endless blessings that is you. 
Uh, and then it says, I am so grateful for you, my love. You give so freely without conditions. Life is an endless flow of blessings because of your great love. So when I read these, I just thought right away, oh, I think any of you who are worried about being like the caretaker or the one working really hard in the relationship or always having to hold space, not to worry because this sounds like a very mutually um, like equal relationship, I guess is the best way I can say that. Like I think there's going to be good balance. I think when you're down, this person will be able to support you and hold you. And then when they're down, you're going to be able to support them and hold space for them. Yeah, it feels it feels really good. I'm not worried about it. I just see, ah, sorry, the cats just love your guys' reading. So maybe you guys are also just really good animal people because every cat has ran through this card reading at this point. Okay, Steve. Yes, thank you. Walk around. Walk around the cards. Thank you, Steve. Okay. Uh, come on. There we go. <laughs> so the other one that caught my eye here, it says, in order to cope with separation from a loved one, we need to realize that spiritually we are always connected to those we love. Neither distance nor time can separate that which is united by love. There's a few different energies around this one. I think for some of you you were in distant relationship previously and it's kind of just saying yes even like I think like you never really got that solid ending to your relationship I think it's saying like love was there you did love them but this isn't the love you want and it's just a really a confirmation on the fact that you didn't make it all up in your head but it's just you deserve so much better and so much better is coming in so it's okay to have love there but it's it doesn't mean that you guys need to be together. Like it's okay leaving that relationship and moving on to something better because you so deserve better and there is so much better out there. There's This is like so close to coming in. It feel like it's just on the cusp. <laughs> but they don't, of course, Spirit never tells me exactly when because they don't want you trying to control when exactly it's going to happen and prepare for an exact date. So they're just like, it's coming in soon. So it could be a year from now. It could be a month from now. That's just how spirit works. Uh, but it is in their form of saying it soon. Um, and then for the other people, I think there might be some people who are, I want to say like maybe widows or just have lost like a really close family member and almost feel guilty or like they don't deserve to have a love like this. And that's just saying that's not true. Like you can, there's so much love capable of a human being out there that you can have that love for that person and then also have love for someone else and it's not selfish it's not greedy it is it's just it's you deserve it like <laughs> you have a hard time finding the right words like you deserve to be happy and loved and your life shouldn't have to stop with just having love for one person because we're made to love as many people as we possibly can. Um, yeah. And then there is another part to this as well. I think the last kind of energy I was getting around is that some of you might end up meeting the soulmate and it's going to probably turn into a bit of a long distance relationship at the start. Um, but they're saying like this one is trustworthy. If you had issues in the past, like this one's quite captivated by you. I think it's the word they're trying to say. Um, they aren't going to be deceitful. They are going to hold a better form of communication during this distance than your previous one. And I don't feel like it will last forever, although it might feel like that at the time. They're just saying that this person's so ready for you that it might happen before you're physically able to be in the same location. Okay. Um, trying to see if I talked about all the cards here. Mm -hmm. I think that's that's more or less it for you guys uh just overall you've done really good and you've done a lot of work so it really deserves a lot of praise because it no it wasn't easy uh oh sorry I guess I can just test based on this like feminine energy card it's saying allowing a higher force to take charge for time and not control the time that this all happens letting go of control and just kind of enjoying life yeah 
being more in your feminine energy to attract in a healthy masculine energy. Okay, I think, yeah, I think that's all I have for you guys. I, I hope you have a good one and hopefully I see you around and I hope you meet your soulmates and I'm sure you will because everything you're saying that it's going to happen, it's going to happen relatively soon according to spirit but that like i said could be a year from now with just how they talk about time hello pile two you guys chose the obsidian tower okay let's just get right into it i'll put down these cards as fast as i can <laughs> Okay, pile two, some interesting things happening here. I hope I'm getting this right, but I feel like you guys are currently in a partnership with someone and maybe it's just not feeling great. And I always want to say, firstly, always take your own intuition decisions before you take any advice from anyone else. Do not listen to this reading and think, oh, this means I have to stay in it. No, I'm just going to read the cards that I got, but you trust yourself first. Don't just blindly trust what I tell you or say to you because you know what's best for you and you could be in a different situation than what these cards are saying. That being said, in this reading, I am getting that your pile two are people who are currently with a soulmate and we do have multiple soulmates. So that being said, this one could only be for a time. It could be for a year. It could be for five years. It could be for 20 years. Um, but we have come into this life with these agreements with these different soulmates that we want to learn certain lessons that they will help us learn. And I think this is just one of those soulmate lessons where it's saying you guys are having some troubles you are not feeling heard like you are trying to communicate you're trying to do the best that you can but you're just not feeling like they are hearing you at all and it's really getting you down now like I feel like if you're the female in this group I think you are especially tired um like you're just kind of done with it <laughs> And you're feeling like we're just not meant for each other. We're just like the wrong people for each other. And so it's very interesting getting that energy and then feeling like that. And then I feel like the angels are telling me this is just one of those cycles. Uh, it's a learning cycle and it's not going to last forever. It's... It's just, unfortunately, we can't always be on the highs of the only love and light and positive. There is like that other state that comes in and you're just in this cycle right now, but you are going to come back to a nicer, more harmonious time in your relationship. Um, that being said, this is calling for you to learn how to set boundaries and I think you need more of your own independent time, like your own uh, space in your house with them or however it is. I just feel like you're being a bit overcrowded right now by them. And just because of how you're feeling, not heard, just like you guys are not fitting right. It's important to take some time for you to have your own time by yourself without them being in your space all the time. That also being said, yeah, I just have a lot of like, you guys need to just set boundaries on your own space. I think all three of these cards are saying that. Uh, I think that will really help with like the tension that you are feeling. It doesn't mean necessarily that you have to go move out if you live with them, but just like have plans and dates with yourself to give yourself space. Uh, yeah, I do feel like whatever job you're working or they're working right now is also causing some friction. Maybe one person's making more money than the other or 
uh, one's working a job that the other one doesn't really like or is envious of. Like I feel like one person might have more passion and love for their job than the other and that person isn't really liking that. Um, Not in a mean way, just in a they don't feel the same way about their job and it just unfortunately is creating friction. Um, yeah, I feel like this has really affected your guys' sacral chakra. Like, it's just tired and pooped. (laughs) It's pooped. Uh, it's really unfortunate. That's really hard to say. It's really, it's hard to say all this for people when I feel how exhausted you guys are and how done you feel. It's really weird to have to be like, oh, but the cards are saying that this is a good relationship for you and that this is a soulmate relationship that causes you to grow and that's what your soul wanted or wants really badly. Um, <laughs> like they're literally like, work on your partnership. You've already met and are in the romantic partnership that you're seeking with the soulmate relationship. Uh <laughs> Just wait, the cycle will be over soon, and you're going to be in a harmonious one soon. Um, And then they are saying, like, you guys are healers. You are, I want to say, spiritual practitioners of some sort. I don't want to be biased because it's a card reading, but I do feel like it is energy work. Uh... Yeah, and some of this experience could also just be to help teach others on how to have better harmonious relationships or whatever the situation is. It's definitely around helping others find their voice because you, you're you definitely in a lesson where you're learning about how to find yours and set boundaries that respect you and yet still honor this relationship. Yeah. I feel like a lot of you are just like starting to realize how how much maybe you've given to them and that could also be a bit of the issue. You could have some anger around that because you are really tired. Don't blame you for all of that. Um, but yeah, just say relationship evolving to the next phase, healing the inner child and growth for the relationship. Just say reminisce. <laughs> Maybe remember the good times because I feel like you're not always in this negative cycle. They're saying like you are going to get back to um, like those happier moments that you've had with this person previously, but they're going to be even better now because they're going to be like a more developed, more in alignment with who you are now uh, cycle. And then I think they're saying... Like, yeah, if you're like, well, in the past, this has been an issue. They never figure it out. I am getting the message that you both are learning from your past mistakes and you are both coming to a higher level of ascension is the word I want to use. Let's see. Sorry, I just got looking at this mermaid card. It says extra magical energy surrounds your situation right now. Expect miracles. So yeah, I feel like you guys are really like feeling like you're at your last um, straw is maybe the right word. But everything here is saying, oh, just hate on, just hate on. Like everything is going to shift and you're not even going to recognize this situation anymore. You're going to be like, how are we ever there? It's it's in the cards for you did pull some soulmate cards and i got uh we are internally blessed by the profound love by a sacred union with the great source of light whose love moves the earth and stars everything happens for a reason and even though the reason is sometimes unclear i graciously accept all that transpires in the knowing that it unfolds through love in accordance with the divine will of my soul. I kind of feel like that one, if anything, is a confirmation that you are in a really hard spot right now, but if you hold on a bit longer, it's all going to make sense. It's all going to be for the best for you and this partner, and I think you're just going to be in that higher conscious relationship that you guys, I believe this pile has been wanting um what does this say 
it is only normal to miss someone who is dear to you, but remember, love knows no separation. You may be physically apart, yet spiritually you are always united. Those you love are forever present in your heart. I think that could also be a message that maybe sometimes you feel like you're not spending enough time with each other. And this is just saying it's okay to miss someone and want to spend more time with them. Um, but I almost wonder if that's also a bit of where some blocks have come from for you guys. Um, maybe on your part, maybe on their part, maybe on both. It's just saying it's all going to be okay. You are learning set boundaries. You're growing. They're growing. Uh, yeah, I feel like you guys should look more into the sacral chakra. Like, and what that means and what does having like a healthy sacral chakra look like it sounds very strange to say all that but i just feel like that's really important for this group and i'm not sure if i could go in depth enough in what they would want me to go in uh for that yeah hmm. so stones that are recommended for you guys is sunstone and red jasper sunstone i find very interesting because i feel like it because probably the name maybe always makes me think of like the healing energies that the sun brings into us and nourishes our bodies and brings a lot of things to light. And maybe that's what you guys are needing is a little more light right now. Mm-hmm. Oh, I was going to read these affirmation cards. So all three of these talk about you not feeling heard. Uh, definitely a common theme here. And it just says some affirmations to help with that is I easily and effortlessly share divine wisdom and knowledge. I am contemplative and enjoy a meditation practice on a regular basis. Sharing my experiences with others helps them on their spiritual journey. Ooh, and look at that. It says spiritual practitioner. (laughs) Do you have a strong desire to help people on their spiritual path? Be a beacon for others by teaching spiritual truths. Your intuitive sense, senses are strong, which helps you to be good spiritual support. Your direction and insights are valuable and make a difference in this in the lives of many. So it's just saying like what you have to say is important. So it is worth like figuring out what's holding you back or blocking you in the throat chakra. Okay, I understand how sound and words create my life i experience and inspired thoughts due to sound music and songs around me lyrics throw sorry i can't know i can't speak very well (laughs) in this card reading but lyrics flow through me and remind me of the many possibilities available to me blue topaz which is really good one for communication i know you didn't get that but i actually think with all the communication communication blocks here maybe if you have some topaz it's time to bring it out and be wearing it (laughs) to help shift that energy and yeah maybe help with why people aren't hearing you i almost feel like you might have a little bit of hard time yourselves getting the words out just based on how i'm slurring and stuff but i think there's just too many energies here to really tune into why each person has a block around their throat chakra but i would definitely look into it because it's it is pretty prominent and I feel like it's affecting you in multiple um, aspects of your lives. Like not only in this partnership, but I think also in your work and your career and just in friendships. And even I think with like when you're trying to manifest things in, I think sometimes even the universe has a hard time understanding what exactly you mean. And it's just not something that you need hanging around. So it's definitely worth meditating reflecting, maybe seeing if there's any limiting beliefs around, um, talking maybe with your parents, maybe they didn't ever hear you or listen to you, maybe you said something to cement that um, belief, like saying, no one ever hears me, no one ever listens to me. If you ever said anything like that, maybe try to do some healing work around that belief and release it. Because I think there's just something like that that's just a little bit stuck that doesn't need to be there anymore. So this one is saying to allow sound and music to help shift blocks. Um, Yeah, so if you have 
I don't know, I want to talk about frequency music. If you guys like frequency music or like new age music, maybe try listening to that sometimes. I feel like it will help shift some things. Um, Angelite. So, do you enjoy writing? You are often inspired to create something. So take action. Recognize that you are a prolific. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Tune in to your muse and align with the flow and mental clarity. Allow yourself to step forward and put your ideas into place at this time. Writing is cathartic. So I think that's going to be release writing actually, now that I think about it. Um, just with not being heard, it's best to get all that kind of energy that's been stuck out and then maybe that will even help clear that block. Uh, so the affirmation for this one is my creative juices are flowing my mind is clear and bright i always find the right words when speaking or writing and people listen to me i think that bottom part is very important for you guys i'm going to reread it i always find the right words when speaking or writing and people listen to me yeah because I, I don't feel like this should be a block for you anymore i think it came from a far past uh that being said we still need to clear it now so that it doesn't affect you anymore. But yeah, I feel like it just really doesn't align with who you guys are now. If you're like, what? I don't have a throat, throat, a brock. I, th I can't even say that word. It keeps happening. I feel like words literally get caught in your throat and don't quite make it out. So we've got to get that fixed for you because I can see how it'd be frustrating and maybe even causing a bit of confusion in this relationship. That could be why it's coming up. You're like, you know exactly what you want to say, but for some reason, when you go to communicate it, the words just don't quite come out right, but you are fully capable of having the right words. So I would work on release the writing. I wonder if that will help ease some tension here. And I'm just going to go back and say like, yes, if you do not feel like your partner is a good, healthy partner or anything like that, then do what's right for you. But I'm just saying that in this card pull that I pulled, they're saying that this partnership is good. It's just in a cycle. It's a very learning soulmate relationship. It's not um, necessarily like always going to be easy and loving and very simple. It's like you've chosen each other because you both crave like a life of huge growth. <laughs> and I feel like for some of you, you're like, do they even want growth? They do too. Yeah. They think they just do it in a very different way from you. And that's also probably why there's some weird tensions here. But yeah, really literally says that work on your partnership. Don't give up. <laughs> you're with your romantic Parker that you're seeking. I unfortunately find that a super clear message. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. So like I said, take what resonates, leave the rest, do what's best for you. Don't let anyone tell you what's right for you. All right. You guys have a good one. I hope this situation gets better. It feels really exhausting. And ugh, I can't wait for things to get easier for you guys because that's just not fun. All right. You guys have a good one and I'll see you around. Hello, Pile 3. You guys chose the Lapis Lazuli uh, Tower. Sorry, I couldn't remember the word for a second. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> lot going on in this pile I think some of you might already be single moms I always feel bad talking about female energies here but I feel like I get a lot of females uh, this pile feels very feminine like motherhood specific like you either are already a mother or you really really want to be a mom and start your own family or it could also mean that you're just very nurturing by, by nature and that you kind of are a caretaker personality type. You might take care of your partners, maybe a little bit more than you should. <laughs> um, yeah, definitely a lot going on here. I think for some of you, you actually are having fertility issues. And I'm like, well, this is a soulmate. 
reading. I'm a little curious as to why that would be important. Maybe you are single and you just want to have your own child separate from having a partner or it could just be something affecting you and maybe preventing you from getting in partnership because maybe you have had fertility issues. Um, if that is the case for fertility issues, it's just saying, I don't, I can't, I mean, don't hate, I feel like some of you might come at me if you're like, eh, it's not true, I still am not pregnant. Um, <laughs> what I'm getting is that for some of you, if you take better care of your physical health, Things should turn around and you can appear on all measures a healthy person, but say you drink a lot of caffeine, it's really stressful on the body. Um, it's almost like calling you to go on a diet and have a movement routine. That sounds weird. Not a hard physical exercise routine, but a gentle movement routine because physical exercise is also very stressful. I kind of get the vibe that your bodies might have endured a lot of stress throughout its lifetime. Even if you are young, I feel like it has had a lot of stress. And bringing back to good health, I think, is really just getting rid of as much stress as possible. And I don't know why I want to say this, but I feel like you guys should eat cucumbers. Cucumbers or even pickles. And that's really weird because that's what they say pregnant ladies always want is pickles. Um... But whatever reason, that seems to be a pretty prominent message is eat more cucumbers. And it might even be in the form of eating a pickle. Uh, it might actually be really interesting to look up the spiritual meaning behind cucumbers. Maybe there's a reason why people crave that. Uh, anyways, I'm going to move away from that topic because I don't feel like all of you are wanting to have babies and are a little like off put by that. But is a message for some of you. Um, for the rest of you, there's a little bit of a disbelief in your ability to attract in this abundance, this healthy soulmate partnership. It's almost like a little bit of you don't see how great you are energy and I think it comes from your family systems something when you were growing up made you feel that way like you weren't deserving of this but it's not true they're literally saying stay optimistic about your love life um, it's coming in very soon I think they're just kind of waiting for you to realize how great you are uh, from what I can tell here it's yeah, nonverbal communication. Um, reclaiming your authenticity. Yeah, I feel like it's a lot about learning to speak up about what you want for yourself, what you believe is right for yourself, um, stating what you even deserve. There's, yeah, I just, it's very strange to say, I just keep getting sucked back into you just, it's like you might not even be able to look in the mirror when you're getting ready in the morning. Like maybe you're not really looking at yourself. You're just trying to avoid essentially eye contact with yourself. You're just not comfortable with it. Um, not sure why though. Something in your upbringing brought this about. And it's coming up because it's not true. It's not true at all. And spirit's kind of like, we see you doing this. And it's time to shift that. Maybe take some time to reflect on what it is that you think you're not worthy of love or of this thing. It's almost like you want it so badly, but maybe you've never thought about how you might be subconsciously blocking it out and I feel like can't this probably won't be for everyone but I feel like there's definitely a situation here that's coming up where it's like I think there is this person literally just waiting for you to be ready to receive their love to come into your life uh yeah but it's like 
for this pile unfortunately they're just calling you to do a lot of inner reflection i think you the caretaker personality trait has come from being a bit codependent in relationships and being scared that people will leave you if you're not fulfilling that role for them and i don't want that to come off as harsh it's like a very giving and selfless way to live but it's so exhausting for you and it usually attracts in people who kind of just are takers and not so much equally givers and it's I don't know. I hope you can see why that would be important to shift because you do deserve a better relationship than that. Like one that is very supporting and I feel like who can just like truly accept you just as you are. You don't need to be anything extra. You're just so good as you are. So I actually I keep looking at this hand of cards and I think it's just kind of saying like whichever soulmate they might bring in. Um is really going to depend on if you can see your value and what you deserve because you might not let a really good person come in if you just i keep wanting to say if you can't even look in the mirror and love yourself you won't be able to accept that much love from somebody else you just it's just like you have a wall up against that saying no <laughs> and you don't mean to it's just something Coming from the past, affecting you now. Okay, it makes me really want to read this card. It says, be still, listen, feel, and just be. Have you forgotten what is truly important? When you pass from this world, all you take with you is your soul and the beautiful memories it holds. Yeah. Really important to reconnect with yourself. I feel for some of you, maybe you don't want to maybe look in the mirror. I feel like your upbringing, there's things that have happened to you. You've been in survival mode and saying it's okay. Like you're leaving that place. You're starting off new. You're That was then. This is now. You're a new person now. Your adult self can take care of yourself now and stand up for yourself now. You don't need other people, but it's okay to want other people. Yeah. Uh, sorry, this other one says, Every experience, regardless of whether you perceive it as good or bad, comes with a gift attached. Yet sometimes the gift is only revealed with the passing of time. Trust is all as it should be. Yeah, I feel like you guys definitely have other things that you're still trying to work through or trying to come to terms with. It's just saying that maybe you don't understand it now, but that's okay. At some point, it will come clear to your soul and to your awareness why you had gone through those experiences. And the last one says... Do not fear the current changes. All is happening in accordance with your divine plan. The current events are paving the way to a brighter future. Love illuminates all darkness. Remain positive and light. Yeah, it seems like a very interesting time for you guys. Um, I did take these cards in the hopes of saying like oh who will your soulmate be what will be their career but i've noticed the theme that it seems to be talking more about you <laughs> and um maybe your strengths uh so there are a few different ones here it says do you proactively use alternative therapies like aromatherapy crystal healing chakra balancing are you a natural hands-on healer uncover the source of mental physical and emotional issues to achieve complete recovery Cultivate your path of personal growth and focus on achieving spiritual maturity. Holistic healer. Apotholite. Um, the affirmation is my chakras are balanced. I use the tools for natural healing and balance. I understand the source of imbalances and take action to restore balance. 
It's a lot of balance words. <laughs> yeah, definitely some healing though. And this one I couldn't help but notice is also blue. So there's some block, I think, not only around not being able to quite say what you need to, but I think also something around maybe not a block. And I think there's honestly a block in your third eye around seeing yourself as you are. I don't know if you guys know how valuable and cherished you are. And I guess maybe that's even why spirit wants to keep saying that. Like you're just so great and so lovable. And it wants you to see that you are all those things. Okay. Uh, affirmation for this one is I see situations with a broader perspective using my business acumen. Acumen. I'm so sorry. I don't know how to say that word. Uh, I easily analyze information to use for the highest good of all concerned. I am honest and ethical. And it says, you have a natural skill for bringing people together. Embrace your talent for orchestrating mutually beneficial situations. Be confident in your ability to identify the needs of all parties and make the best recommendations to close the transaction. Yes, yeah, so I feel like you guys are just really good at like, intuitively helping other people, understanding other people and taking care of them. It's really be awesome for you to be able to do that for yourselves. Physical exercise, an important focus in your life. It is time to look at your ability to motivate yourself to take action and improve your core strengths. Make a decision to increase your physical vitality and promote overall well-being. Learn to be accountable for your physical habits. And it's just calling you to get more educated around that. Um, affirmation is I am motivated to be fit. I enjoy developing core strengths and promoting, promoting healthy habits. I recognize that the body mind connection improves by life. Yeah. So it's very interesting cards and it's all about perseverance in this pile and overcoming this block in the past. And I don't see anything here saying that you won't be able to do it. I think you're going to be good. Maybe just a little call out to say that there might be some people who are open to supporting you and helping you and maybe just take a double look at who those people might be. Uh, I think you've had troubles trusting other people in the past, but they're saying, I should say, sorry, Spirit is saying that there is someone around you that is willing and able to hold space for you and maybe try to initiate a better relationship with that or yeah but I mean I just want to say when I say that you know trust your gut if you feel like there aren't people around you right now that you can be open and safe with and supported with don't just give your trust to anyone that isn't the message but it's just saying that there is people around you who want to support you and it's leaving it up to you to figure out who those are. <laughs> That's spirit for you. <laughs> okay, I don't know if I really have any other messages for you. If you want to get Moonstone to help with this transition time, it's saying that would be a good stone for you. Obviously, it's up to you. You don't have to buy anything. Or Turquoise, I think, would help with the... Um, speaking block and seeing yourself block uh, and just helping you remember why you're doing all this who you want to be at the end of all this what you want for yourself at the end of all this and really coming back to who you are and finding out who you are as a person yeah well I hope that helped I'm not sure if I really talked that much about soulmates but they are saying there's one for you and they're going to come in soon, but there's just a bit of a path you have to take before you get there. Yeah. Um, oh, and I'm not sure if I touched on that about maybe like writing down a list of what you want in a partner and a relationship that's healthy and secure for you. Uh, don't need to add in what you don't want. Just focus on what you do. And I think that's just going to help bring in this relationship that's going to be better. Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope that helped. I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you around. Hello, pile four. So you guys chose this fluorite tower. 
Okay, let's just get right into it. Okay, pile four, I feel like this pile has sort of been through the ringer of life, if I could say that. It might be the best way I could say it. I feel like you guys have really come from some diverse backgrounds where it wasn't very easy. And I think because of that, you've definitely had some troubles in love. Uh, the messages here, so interesting. There's a lot of really big messages. So I'm getting that some of you might be looking at this card reading, wondering if you even have a soulmate out there. And they're saying, yes, if you've attracted in the wrong people, they're, they're telling you it's okay. Like there's just, there is like marriage and an ultimate like soul partner for you and maybe it's not necessarily marriage but it's more of a common law kind of relationship like a committed partnership that is happy and fulfilling is in your future that is for you it should be part of your life um they are saying now is a good time to <laughs> find balance. I feel like you guys kind of go from extremes. Like you can go really hardcore at something or really aggressively into something. And it's just saying you really need to find balance uh, there <laughs> because I think it's just kind of exhausting you in an unnecessary way. And I, I should just add in, like, I feel like for this pile specifically, they're kind of giving a lot of advice on how you can work on yourself and your own habits and routines so that you can call in this person. I do think you guys get like trauma triggered a lot. I think um, that could be an issue in some of the relationships that you've had and it could be an issue in calling in a healthier partner uh, just because it's almost like you're just not quite ready right now for that kind of partnership um I keep looking at this air card and I think when I'm looking at it I keep thinking that they want you to be more aware of your breath and I think that's gonna help with some of these triggers I think sometimes you don't realize it but maybe you start holding your breath and your body might start to panic or when you get really stressed you hold your breath uh, in any case, though, it's just a call to if maybe do some breathing techniques or just even to like sit and when you take like a few deep breaths, be aware of is your air going all the way down and circulating through your body or are you just kind of sipping on air? It might seem very strange to you guys to bring that up, but I think they're saying like, surprisingly this would help your physical body stop reacting as much if it had the right amount of oxygen to feel safe and relaxed um you're saying that they want to help you and they've reached out a few times but i think you're you've got a lot of independent energy from what you've come from and your upbringing that they're saying that sometimes you might not realize it but you're blocking out help um and I feel like some of you are like I want help I don't know what they're talking about it's saying like they actually need your permission like you have to be <sighs> sorry I just as soon as I got that I got sidetracked it's like if you've ever had someone be like oh I can pay for this or I can get this and you're always saying no they're like saying like okay so you're saying yes you'll accept things but then you're not actually accepting anything so it's almost like Maybe this is a good time to challenge yourself and see if you can start accepting the small things. Like if even if someone gives you a compliment to just say thank you instead of like um, 
like maybe almost like saying, oh, you're just being nice or saying like, well, you have nicer hair or some, something around that. Like they're just saying like you're, you have a lot of unintentional ways that you might be kind of like not accepting anything, like not accepting compliments, not accepting help financially or uh, just on any of those levels. That might not be all of you, but I just feel like there's definitely a good chunk of you who will resonate with that. Um, yeah, it's so interesting. I feel like there's some of you who are like, maybe you had a child very young. Um, you had like some very passionate relationships when you were younger but I feel like none of them were really good in the long term. Like you're both just kind of like hurt people who found a common denominator between that and got together. And unfortunately two hurt people didn't really solve any problems. It kind of just created more problems. I think you guys actually do physically have tattoos. I just keep seeing that. Like I think this pile, I think a lot of you really resonate with certain tattoos um, and that they helped you feel like you had more of an identity or something. I don't know why that's important. That might be very specific, but for someone, I think that's very important. And I keep coming back to like the fact that I felt like I had to put these two cards in the center saying leaving you hurt me too and I don't trust you. I kind of feel like this is your higher self saying that they don't trust your own instincts or around men or the or the partners you choose. Um, and I think that younger passionate relationship that wasn't necessarily healthy for you, um, I think that's calling to this. I think the both of you felt very hurt to leave each other but it was just not right it was there was just too many dysfunctions in it for it to be a loving supportive relationship and as i do say right over here like it's worth waiting for there is like a better soulmate a better love that's going to be there for you one that is more balanced and more supportive yeah, you just have a little bit of healing work before you can get there. Um, so they did recommend calcite and lapis lazuli, which is interesting. I almost am surprised that didn't come up for the <laughs> pile that had lapis lazuli on it. But it's just saying like you're in a time of transition and you're building your awareness around what you want just like your own past and the healing that you need. Like you're doing really good. You're going into a time where your eyes are opening wider. And yeah, that is such a great step. I really do feel like this pile has really gone through a lot and up to this point in their life. Um, the dragonfly for me, I know it's not a butterfly, but to me, I always still see them as transformation and transition. Um, in this one, it says... Be lighthearted um, while well, things come to light, adapt, change, and heal. So this is specifically from a love deck. And I think it's just saying, I feel like this person that you broke up with, maybe some things are going to come out. Like I could see, like you might find out maybe they cheated on you or some other like equivalently bad, horrible, hurtful things. And they're just saying, try your best. <laughs> to remember that you're not part of that situation anymore and although it's really hard just see that it's done it's over with you've learned something from it and you can't control the past and what has happened um, and just say adapt change and heal so it's not saying that you have to forget about it but just I know it sounds so hard to say, but it's like it's it's something for some reason that your soul wanted to learn and I really doubt you're gonna attract it in again just looking at your cards and like your awareness that's changing and all this stuff. 
Um, yeah, there's, they give you some affirmations on how to bring like more receiving energy into your life. It says prosperity and abundance in my life. Uh, working with numbers comes easily to me. I pay attention to details regarding the money flowing in and out of my life. Um, sorry, I'm getting a little distracted by this card. It's saying finances. So take a look at your assets and liabilities and find balance in the way money flows in and out of your life. Maintain mental equity and focus when you work with numbers. Attention to detail is important today and always. Hmm. So I'm not really expecting out of a love reading, but maybe that's a bit of an issue for you guys. You could have a little bit of a habit of maybe going on shopping sprees when you're not feeling great or when you want to feel a bit better. And I think they might just be saying, um, just be aware of that, that that might be something that you might do sometimes. It's obviously not a message for all of you, but I think they're just saying, be cautious because you might have a little bit of negative energy around that. And if you have a bit of a block around receiving, it could be hard for you to receive abundance into your life. So you might just be kind of buying things, but not always being open to receiving things back, if that makes any sense. So it's more like just being aware of that. Not saying you can't buy anything, not at all. It's just saying just keep track of how much you're spending. <laughs> it's important for somebody. <laughs> Um, this one is, do you have a strong affinity for well-being of nature and the environment? Bring your focus towards earth-centered awareness and observe how your actions influence the environment for the next seven generations. Remember, you are a steward of the earth and its affirmation is, I am grateful for this blue-green planet and I treat it with honor and respect. I'm aware of the results of my actions. I think and act with global consciousness. Honestly, that also feels like a very random card <laughs> for a love reading. But maybe they're just saying, maybe you've been thinking about like, I want to say composting or recycling more. I think that's just maybe a little bit of a validation or an affirmation saying, yeah, like it'd be really awesome if you could be more aware of your footprint and just treating your environment as kindly as you can. Um, yeah. Okay, all right, let's see if this one's just as random. <laughs> so it says, do you have a tendency to want to offer advice or meditate on another's behalf? Be willing to negotiate to arrive at a fair outcome when disagreements arise. Diplomacy is required at this time, and always keep your own counsel and be clear and calm. The affirmation, I am calm. I am diplomatic in both personal and business pursuits. Success is my... So I feel like it's just saying that maybe sometimes... You get very emotionally involved in other people's kind of situations when they bring them to you and you want to fight for them. And I think they're just saying, just remember that you can't fix other people's problems. You can give them all the advice you want, but people are either going to take it or not. So just keep that in mind because maybe sometimes you might put a little too much energy into somebody else and Maybe you try to figure out their whole problem for them and then they just don't even take any advice or acknowledge any of the work you did or maybe you set up like a new job for them but they don't even take it. They're saying just maybe it's good to help people but don't get too overly involved because you might be giving a little too much energy out to other people. Okay, so the somewhat cards here say um, this is a favorable time for matters of the heart, a time of inspiration and healing, a relationship blossoms, your heartfelt aspirations now manifest lovingly into reality. So the universe is hearing you and that you want to bring in a better partner. I did also notice that over here, it says conversing more awaited messages, text, call, email, and like someone you're interested in someone right now. Um, yeah, they're saying that's good, but just maybe give it time to develop and then this is how you're gonna see if there's red flags or not or if this is kind of like the kind of person you want in I think like sometimes maybe you've rushed in a little bit because you really see the best in people and you might not always be aware of the fact that um they might not be the best person for you 
Okay, it says, a great love life requires intimacy, trust, and the ability to share your feelings. Express your doubts, fears, your likes and dislikes. Talk openly, listen, be present. Always with an open heart and mind. Honestly, that really goes back to maybe why you might want to slow things down. I feel like some of you might not really like hearing that, but it's just saying you got to get to know someone on a deeper level and approach them with honesty around situations about your expectations of them, um, what expectations they have of you, your common values and goals. And I think they'll just kind of help weed out any of the relationships that won't be in alignment with you. If, Like, I feel like if you're like, oh, I like invested like six months of my life, a year of my life, two years of my life. And it's kind of like, if you can kind of start off slower and then Obviously, you don't need to tell everyone your life story, but just kind of see if you can trust them, if your dislikes and likes are similar, if your values are similar. That's going to really help you not feel like you're wasting time or just getting caught up in the wrong relationships. Also, the last one says, dwelling on the past and future keeps me from experiencing the power of now. I make a conscious choice to be present. I accept love now. I'm grateful for your love. So I think this is the reminder that I think you guys would really benefit from doing um, an affirmation a day about receiving love. And I think for you, you should have a wording around being deserving, worthy, and willing to receive love in abundance. Um, I do think for you, it does need to be all three. Because I think saying that you are deserving and you are worthy is very important. But then I think you need to tell the universe that you're not just going to say it, you are going to start accepting it. And then maybe even saying that every day will help you start to realize how many times you might say no to people's help um, unintentionally. Like maybe when someone's like, oh, let me buy you that coffee. It might make you feel like you're dying inside, but just try saying yes. (laughs) <laughs> it sounds so funny but it's like I think that that person truly does want to do it for you and just saying yes to very small things they think is going to help you say yes to bigger universe things that are like let me bring you this amazing person and you'll be like yes I do deserve that amazing person you won't be so worried about taking that experience away from somebody else okay um Okay, so there's just another little message here. I think I'm getting towards the end of this, but it's saying um, soul memories and gifts. You've done this before. I actually think this is referring to your healing around your life experience. I think it's kind of saying your soul chooses some harder lives because it really likes to grow. (laughs) It really likes to come out of this and help other people, guide other people, um, learn very core lessons that other you can't learn as well unless you experience them. That might seem really hard to hear, but it's just like your soul just wouldn't be happy experiencing a very simple life. It feels like it wouldn't be happy with the lack of death in its experiences yeah that's a tricky one and then there is another one saying that don't worry like balance and harmony is coming in so two balance cards so one is a little bit saying you've got to find a little more balance and the other one saying we are also like the universe is also trying to bring in some more balance for you and more harmonious energy so you feel more at peace i feel like you guys could benefit from some form of yoga Um, sometimes that word's really scary for certain people, but I do think it would be good. I'm thinking like breath work yoga. I, I don't know much about that personally, but I've heard people mention it in passing. I actually think it would help you a lot in the sense of this air thing that they really think is important for you and understanding where your breath is in your body, um, and making sure that your physical body isn't more stress than it needs to be sometimes and I think you might not even fully be aware of that 
It's saying like when you've gotten angry or panicked randomly, sometimes it's because you did hold your breath without realizing it. Um, yeah, it's, I think that's a very normal reaction to people under stress or a triggered response, but it is weird trying to be aware of that to the point where we can take control of it. So that's why I think yoga would be good because they really teach you different breath techniques and different types of breath. Not all of them, only some of them. So you'd have to look a little bit more into that. You also think that if you guys have thought about getting like an evil eye protection thing, like a ring or a necklace, earrings, I would do that. I don't really have exact reason why here, but I just I feel like it could just be from your experience in your life. Like they're just saying, oh, I don't know. It's just saying that that's something that might make you feel safer and better. Um, it just basically, if anyone, it's it's literally an amulet more for unconscious psychic attacks. So if you just have a lot of people in your life who have a lot of tension or friction towards you and it doesn't have to be for any particular reason, it's just that just happens sometimes, I think the evil eye would help you kind of stop being affected by that energy. Okay. Yeah. And then there is a little butterfly too. So yeah, you guys are definitely transitioning. Um, that always is a really hard time in life because you're like, oh, awesome transitioning. That means I'm going to become something better and I'm going to feel better at the end of it. But it usually means it's sure having a heck of a hard time in the present. <laughs> But let's just see. I don't see anything here saying that you won't be able to make it. You won't be able to do it. Everything here is very like, you've got this. You've come from quite the distance. You are like a perseverer. Just, I think like the main thing to take away from this is breath work and the reopening up yourself to receiving. Because from what I can tell, those are the main blocks here. Um and then I do think the soulmate should just find their their way to you. Uh, yeah, I wouldn't wouldn't be too worried about that. I know that's hard to say because everyone kind of wants their own partner, but they're saying if you work on this receiving, it's just gonna naturally happen because you're just destined and fated to find this healthy relationship. Yeah. Your soul's agreed to it, so it's going to happen for you. <laughs> okay, I think that's all I've got for you guys. So it's kind of a weird soulmate reading. Not really where I thought I was going to go with this pile, but yeah, that's just how it goes. All right, so you guys have a good one, and I'll see you around. Bye.